Oh, hey, Moosh. Glad to see Whoa, what happened to your fucking forehead? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, 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 yeah, I, uh, I, I had a little bobo over at the gun range. <laughs> Uh, ha 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 derp. <laughs> you know, Bersh, a gun is a big responsibility. You have to be careful, otherwise you could, uh, take your googly eye out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shut the fuck up. So did you actually get your gun, Bersh? Like, can we see it? I want to see your gun! I want to see your gun! I want to see it! I want to see it! I want to see! By the way, I got my, um, I got my holster. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh, look, he's got Lily in him! Oh my god, Burst, it doesn't come in mid sizes? <laughs> what is that, a keychain? I fucking want it? That's the tiniest little thing I've ever seen! That's smaller than me! <laughs> yeah, did that come with a free rape whistle? <laughs> oh my god, you got the, the rape whistler! Oh, it comes, comes for $10.99 with a self defense class and a clutch purse! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, a gun's a gun, all right. I, I'll get something better later. It's just, you try driving a BMW around these these sketchy neighborhoods. You know, I, need, I just needed to get some. I, I, the AK's in the mail. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you're living in public housing now. <laughs> so you decided to defend yourself with with a gun that you get out of a Cracker Jacks box? Uh, is it a bat? You know, scarier and cheaper? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I mean, seriously, Bersh, I, I know we're on hard times here, but I feel like every pawn shop in Florida has a bigger gun than that for a buck fifty. I mean, fuck, man. You, you, why did you get a water pistol? <laughs> I, 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 listen, I would have liked to have gotten a bigger gun, all right? But when I got this one free from, from, a, from a charity. A charity? What fucking charities handed out guns? <laughs> Guns for tarts. <laughs> guns for tarts? <laughs> yeah, gun, guns for tarts. You, you haven't heard of it? In a world where our very way of life seems to be under attack from all sides and our freedoms are slowly being ripped away, Guns for Tarts is fighting the good fight to help protect America from its enemies by advocating Second Amendment rights for our nation's most vulnerable and often overlooked citizens, the mentally challenged. Our founding fathers believed that a well-armed, trained, and educated citizenry was the key to a free and prosperous society. But Meatloaf also said, two out of three ain't bad. We believe that TARDs are our second to last line of defense against ISIS. And we at Guns for Tards aim to provide the means and the programs to give proper training and resources to Tards in your area, helping to make the country a safer place. There are over 40 million mentally challenged Americans living today, and by 2020, we plan to arm at least 10% of them. We want to get as many guns in the hands of as many Tards as we can, but we won't be able to do it without your help. So please, pledge your help today. Arm a tard. It's not that hard. Go to www.gunsfortards.com for more information or follow us on Facebook or Twitter by searching for Guns for Tards. Pew 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 ah take that bad guy pew 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 back off minority pew 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 Oh hey Marish what are you doing? <laughs> oh bro bro I just pulled out my gat and I and I stopped a gang of thieves <laughs> totally kicked some some hoodlums butt <laughs> yeah You beat up some hoodlums? Did they have special needs or something? What, what were they doing? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, Marcy, think of me, you kicked a dirty hoodie into your pile of laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Let Papa Marsh tell the tale. Bro, I just pulled some hardcore enforcement shit at the local McDonald's. And I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't have my shit on me, I probably wouldn't have been as bold as I was. <laughs> Let's just say, maskless partygoers cutting line drive through <laughs> I was so angry at these people that I cut the line. There were so many people on the line already that I knew I had the people behind me anyway. So I got out and walked over and I waved at them and pointed back toward the end of the line. They left, I returned to my car. <laughs> I saw that the car in front of me, before that guy, was full of maskless partygoers, were now mad at the group of maskless partygoers. So I went back over to my car again and pulled my phone out and began to take pictures of their plates and they took off. <laughs> Handle that. Wow, you're so cool. Yeah, Mary, that, that's pretty badass. I, I wonder if the story you told on Nightwave lines up with your Twitter figures. Uh, uh, let's find out. Oh, so last night, right, my uh, producer tweeted something on my behalf uh, regarding an incident at McDonald's last night. Um, so people aren't confused. Um, it wasn't a bad situation. All right, here's what happened last night. So I, was, I went to McDonald's after the show, right? I was starving. So I go, I, I was I wanted to get something better to eat, but everything was closed. And I was like, well, McDonald's is open, and the line was insane for the drive through So as you guys know, when the McDonald's has two drive through windows, right, or two drive through radio things, right, um, they usually, like, people split off, right, and they go um, into the thing. But eventually, like, well, when where they converge is where the line starts. So you stand, like, you know what I mean? Like, usually one person sits looking at either one. And when one of them moves forward is where you go. And then somebody gets behind you. Like, nobody, they, there isn't supposed to just be two lines at the McDonald's. So so last night I go to McDonald's. Um, and it's a bad line. It's each, ra each um, speaker has two cars. At, you know, like meaning one and then one behind them and then one and then one behind them. And then those came together where one guy, it was a black dude, this black dude was chilling and um, it was him next. And then it was me. And then it was like a couple cars behind us. It was that bad. It was that backed up and everybody was following the rules. <laughs> And then he fucking drives. He dri then he goes up and he, uh, we're, we're doing our thing, whatever. So this car full of maskless party goers just shoot like around the line, come right in and pull right, just wedge their car in at the second speaker right behind one of the, the, the second car, right? And I'm like, and like everyone's just kind of looking around and I'm like, don't let. <laughs> Don't let it bother you. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where I'm like, just don't let it bother you. Normally, I wouldn't. There is something about not having to worry about it as much as you normally used to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there is there is a certain element of that where you go. Normally, I I don't want to start a whole thing, but I feel like they're breaking the rules. <laughs> I was really pissed off. I was getting. I was sitting there. Finally, I was like. Click, and I get out of the car. <laughs> I walk over and I walk, and I mean, I have to walk past my car, past the the, the guy's car next to my car, in front of me, whatever. But the guy who was next, this young black guy, right? <laughs> I walk past him. He opens his car door and looks at me, and he's like, "Oh, you gonna say something?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, come on, dude." <laughs> he's like, "Okay." So he's standing. So now there's another black guy standing there, like, "Okay." And I walk out and I walk up to the window, and I'm like. Excuse me, and I was trying to be nice about it, right? It was just these young maskless party goers, and they're like, you know, they give me one of these, like, where they go, and I go, excuse me, um, hi, sorry, um, you cut that gentleman in line, you're, um, 
he's next. See, he's next, and then I'm after him. If you notice, you cut. You should go to the back of the line. It's only fair, right? And of course, they're just like, they just look at me and they all start laughing. I'm like, okay. Um, so that's all. I was just like, sir, you can't be on the line. You're cutting, and that's being nice about it. And then they all started laughing, and I'm like, okay. So then I'm like. I'm walking away, and I'm thinking they're going to do something. I'm thinking they're going to leave a rip. I look back, and they're literally just laughing at me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I went to my car, and I got my... I only got my phone. I want people to be, you know, whatever. Uh, I grabbed my phone and walked over, and I was just like, I've had it. And I pulled my phone out, walked towards their car, aimed my phone at the back of their car where their license plate was and i don't know what these dudes were into or what they were up to but they they just took off so yeah i wasn't trying to be all cra i was just people were like oh mersh mersh is saying he's out there going crazy with a gun and i'm like no i wasn't nobody even saw anything i just was willing to take somebody's photo and i was willing to like again i know it i know it seems I know it seems unreasonable to just get into a whole thing about it, but it, but he was he, but he cut the line. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is what I don't. He cut the line. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair to the men, the gentleman in front of him. It wasn't fair to me. It wasn't fair to all the very hardworking people behind us. That's all. And I was trying to make that known. Um, but it was funny. That's all I was gonna say. That, that was the whole incident. But I know some some uh, 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 jacktooth stalkers of mine that that literally call the cops on me and can't afford adult bracelets. Um, those guys uh, have been trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. When uh, n n nothing, I there was nothing done. I was only pointing out the fact that there is something about. There is just something about having that safety device with you that makes you go, you know what? Excuse me, that's not fair. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just there's a certain level of confidence that comes with it. Excuse me, that's against the rules. <laughs> Please, please do something to me. Please do something to me. That's all. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just, excuse me, but you cut this guy. And then, by the way, I will say this. I will say this. Uh, the dude behind that guy was, was kind of a fan of mine after that. That was, that was literally... The guy, as I was walking away, I just heard, hell yeah, I fucks with you. <laughs> so literally, I, looked, I just, I didn't realize the dude still has his window rolled down. I was walking back to my car and I just heard, hell yeah, man, I fucks with you. <laughs> I was like, oh man, thanks, man. Because <laughs> it wasn't, again, he didn't cut me, he cut the guy in front of me. And then, in turn, cut all of us. But even the guy in front of me was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I was walking by, he's like, yeah, yeah, man, I'll fuck switch you. I was like, no problem, man. <laughs> it's just like, I'm like, and I'm like, I believe uh, I really made, I really related, um, I made this black guy relate to me, and I really think that he could feel me being very hood because <laughs> after he said I fuck switch you, I, I believe what I said to him was, it wasn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure he said to himself, man, that guy's so cool. That's such a gangster. I said it in the whitest way I could possibly say it. Walking in a parking lot at 2.30 in the morning back to my car to McDonald's. Walking two car lengths back to my car with an open door. And he goes, hell yeah, fucks with you. And I was like... It's, it wasn't fair. <laughs> guy, just, guy was like, man, eh, he just made one of those faces and say another word. It wasn't fair. Because <laughs> it wasn't. 
Uh, but anyway, it wasn't a big overblown incident. I just thought it was funny. And it was, again, there is a certain element of when you know you have something in your glove box, you just kind of go, excuse me, I wasn't going to say anything, but I, this isn't <laughs> this isn't fair. But you- hey guys, it's me, Ross Doc. Show's not over yet. I just want to give a special shout out to r slash Mersh, Plant Man, Alan Powell. Uh, there's also a new video up over on Angie's Random Edits about Mersh being fat and ready for white boy summer. I uh, couldn't do this without all you guys. You're doing the Lord's work, and uh, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're into the Mersh gun stuff, check out like the last three or four episodes with apologies. Seriously, about like six hours of, of shit talking Mersh is gone, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be shitting on it some more tomorrow. Uh, and more Philip Wave to come. Just just been super busy lately. Uh, but anyway, uh, subscribe to RDA Media for Ross Dog Fight Club. Subscribe to Ian Ellis LLC for With Apologies. Uh, please spread the the Philip Wave shit around. I know it's hard to get people into it, but uh, we appreciate it. And uh, oh, hey, there was one more thing. Let's stay tuned. Yeah, dig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, by the way, has anybody heard from Jesse P.S. in a while? <laughs> Whatever happened to that guy? Oh, yeah, man. He, he got bullied off of the internet. He, he, first, he got smashed by Saiyans and then, and then Jarva. Oh, oh, and, and AOC. And, and with apologies. And uh, Ked TV. Oh, oh, yeah. And Hipstar. Hipstar had a whole funeral for him. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, he, even Kenny TV uh, from Long Green TV is shitting him? God, talk about a fall from grace. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, Jesse's such an uninspired piece of shit. He even he tried to steal a puppet show from Ken TV. <laughs> oh, God, what a fucking moron. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ, the only thing worse than being a failed comic is being a failed improviser. Like in eight years, you paid to go to UCB and, and you're stealing ideas from an actual literal retard? Jesus, Jesse. <laughs> seething. I am actually fucking seething right now. Yuck, 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 yuck. You know, pulling the strings, Royce. Who's pulling our strings? Hmm, I don't know. Me, Jesse, the greatest guy. Let's go bully the internet. This is pot awful. Here now, I'm now, I'm gonna steal Dave Chappelle's bets. I'm taking everything. That's a problem. You've got a problem. Steal that. So I'll be doing impressions of crackheads. And I'll be stealing uh, real New York boobs. That's now my bet. I'm doing it everywhere. Woo! What? But, but that bit's like a whole plus decade old. It doesn't matter once it's funny, you know, it's funny. I'm gonna steal his whole act. I'll be going around in comedy clubs go, it's a problem. It's my bit now. I'll be doing, I'll be going up to women and going, real New York boobs. They're all my bits. I'll be doing things like, you know, I'll be doing, I'll be stealing his TV show. Yeah, I'll be going online going, it's Merch Show. It's the Merch Show of guys playing boots guitar outside my studio and everything. Whoa, what? Oh my God, you are like the biggest hack ever, Merch. Now I'm going to steal your bit. I'm going to go around stealing all kinds of comedy bits. Any bit you have now, Merch, I'll be stealing that. Yeah, that's right, I'm Royce. You steal their bits, I'll be stealing your bits. Oh, you fucking piece of shit, you asshole. Fuck you, Royce. I'm the only one that steals bits. Only I'm allowed to steal bits, not you. Whoa, what? Everybody's allowed to steal bits. It's going to be a hack, you cocksucker. Fuck you. I'm even going to steal Kevin TV's bits. Yeah, that's right. Sting over there, go. They're all my bits. Yeah, that's right. Hey, you know what? I, I've always wanted to steal Steve Martin's bits. Cruel shoes. They're all mine. I'm a hack. I'm Marsh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But who the hell is old enough to even recognize a Steve Martin bit? No one. Those people are like 80. Nobody's going to know it, you fucking faggot. Nobody will think it's funny. Whoa, 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 yeah. 
Well, we all think that bit is funny. You're a fucking hack piece of garbage. My garbage. Hey, Royce, here I get, I got gone. Whoa, what? All right, but why'd you buy like a purple gun? It's like the gayest fucking gun ever. Did you uh, go to the gun store near your gay bathhouse? You're saying I'm a fag now? Oh, shut the fuck up, douchebag. No, I'm just saying. No. All women stuff. Don't, don't get me wrong that it's okay to have any colored gun if you're not a comic. Yeah, we're comics. People are going to be laughing at you everywhere. You've got purple gun? How queer are you? Oh, fuck you, man. I got any gun I want. You can have a purple gun, you fucking fag. Yeah, that's right. Harsh. He's cross-eyed, fat, and has a small gun. Hey, is this... Because, you know, I'm on your... I'm on one of these niggas' pages, man. These niggas... Be t these niggas always have video on their Instagram where they have somebody talking shit about them. I fucking enjoy it. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, if you're still here, well, uh, quite frankly, you're psychotic. But uh, I appreciate it. Do me a favor. Uh, Ian Ellis' last set, the one about Dave Chappelle. Please uh, pass that around or tweet it or share it or... Or just share it, man. It, it means a lot to us. Thank you, man. Yeah, dig.